Hi guys, welcome to topic 17, lesson 3. We are almost done, just hang in there. Just a reminder, topic 17, achieving business objectives through relationships and team performance. Okay, remember this is a very, uh, very important aspect in your business. We are looking at personal beliefs and values and how they influence business relationships. Remember, we are individuals and each of us believes something else and we have different values. But we need to be able to respect each other and obviously be able to work with each other. Dealing with diversity. Now, diversity means being different. When it comes to choosing the right person for a job, the human resource manager must look at, at one reasonable requirement, and that is, is the person able to do the job properly? The manager should not let his or her personal beliefs and values influence the decision on the appointment of the workers. In other words, whether you are pink or blue or green, it does not matter. The only question that should be asked is, can this person do the job? Yes or no? Then we look at ethics, beliefs, values and attitudes. Ethics is the set of moral values of an individual or groups. People are diverse and different and often what is regarded as right or wrong will differ from person to person. Therefore, countries have laws that say clearly what is regarded as right and wrong. A belief is the acceptance of facts or truth about a person or an object. Business should work towards breaking down prejudice and discrimination, encourage equity and building an understanding of diversity. We are allowed to be different and we should not be discriminated against for being different in a workplace. Values. These are the overall beliefs that guide actions and judgments. Those things that you make uh, sacrifices for and work hard for. Okay, so if you value um, education, you are going to work hard to ensure that everybody receives a free education or a good education. Values and beliefs can guide your life towards noble goals rather than letting you live by control your life be controlled by selfish selfish motives and bad habits or impulses. Values and beliefs can inspire and motivate you, giving you energy to do something meaningful. Okay, so values and beliefs can be seen as the drive behind what you do for a living. An attitude can be described as the way you respond to a situation or person, which can be positive or negative. Solving problems in business in an ethical way, in other words, in the correct, right way. It's advisable for a business to create and incorporate a code of ethics for all employees. A code of ethics defines the values by which the business will function and as such provide a guideline when employees make decisions. Okay, so code of ethics refers to rules that the company should follow. Criteria for successful and collaborative team performance. Okay, criteria refers to a list. People need to work together to achieve business objectives. Now, collaboration is if a team member learns communication skills, know how to resolve conflict and can motivate each other, the team will succeed. In other words, being able to work with each other and support each other. Good interrelationships. Team concept provides several extra benefits for workers, such as teamwork encourages workers to increase their range of skills, teamwork gives employees more control over their jobs, and team members are trained to handle a number of assembly jobs, so they work for about three hours before repeating the task. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Be good, stay safe.